In these problems, we're being asked to multiply together two expressions with radical signs in them that are binomial. They have two separate terms. So there's usually a whole number and then uh, a term with the, the radical symbol in it. We're going to approach these the same way we would approach multiplying together two binomials. That is, we're going to use FOIL. So distributive property FOIL. And remember, FOIL says multiply the first terms together, multiply the outside terms together, multiply the inside terms, and then multiply the last terms together, and then put all that together, uh, combining the like terms that you can. So let's give that a try and see how it works in this case. The first terms are 3 and 4. They're both positive, so that's just a 12. The outside terms, 3 times a negative square root of 2. Don't forget that sign. So that is minus 3 times the square root of 2. The inside terms, we've got a negative 4 times the square root of 6 and 4. So that is negative 16. 4 times 4 is 16 times the square root of 6. And then our last terms, it's a negative 4 times the square root of 6 times a negative square root of 2. So a negative times a negative is a positive. That part I've got. Then we've got a 4 on the outside. And on the inside, of the radical, we've got a 2 and a 6. Those can get multiplied together. OK. Now, we're not quite done. We have some more simplification that we can do. Um, it doesn't maybe look like we have like terms uh, right off the bat. We've got a square root of 2 here and a square root of 6 here. This can deal with some more simplification. So this is 4 times the square root of 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Well, 12 can also be written as 3 times 4. So this is 4 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. We can take the square root of 4 easily. That's 2. So this 4 out here gets multiplied by 2. So that's 8 times the square root of 3. All right. Now, that's as simple as we can make it. We still don't have any like terms, but we've got our final answer. So we've got 12 minus 3 times the square root of 2 minus 16 times the square root of 6 plus 8 times the square root of 3. All right, let's try one more. So down here we've got a square root of 6 minus 5 times the square root of 7, and then a square root of 6 plus 3 times the square root of 7. We're going to go ahead and FOIL this, and let's see what happens. First term, square root of 6 times the square root of 6. So that's basically the square root of 6 squared. So that's just 6. Outside terms, uh, square root of 6 times 3 times the square root of 7. So that is going to be 3 on the outside of the radical symbol, and 6 times 7 is 42 on the inside. All right, inside terms, negative 5 times the square root of 7 and square root of 6. That's going to be a minus 5 times the square root of 42. Again, the only thing I have on the outside of the radical symbol is this minus 5. What's on the inside of the radical symbol can get multiplied together. That's where I got the 42, the 6 times the 7. OK, so that's first outside and inside. The last terms are negative 5 times the square root of 7 plus 3 times the square root of 7. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And 7 times 7 is 49. So this is the square root of 49 here. Maybe you did that step in your head and said that should just be 7. Uh, if that's the case, you're a, a little bit ahead of the game. That's fine. All right, let's see what we can do here uh, with simplifying. Uh, definitely, this is uh, 15 times the square root of 49. That is 15 times 7. So let me just pull out my calculator here and get 15 times 7. So that is 105. So this is, let me write it over here. I've got 6. I've got... Well, I've got 3 times the square root of 42 minus 5 times the square root of 42. So that's actually going to be a negative 2 times the square root of 42. And then we've got um, a minus 105. So a couple of places to look for simplification. Can we simplify the square root of 42? So you might want to experiment with factoring that. If you divide 42 by 2, you get 
21. So this is 2 times 21. And 21 is 3 times 7. So you get 2 times 3 times 7. Those are all prime. And there's nothing here we can take the square root of. So square root of 42 is actually as simple as it can be. We can, however, combine our positive 6 and our negative 105. That would give us a negative 99. So our final answer here, we're going to have negative 2 times the square root of 42 minus 99. And that is some work with uh, simplifying a product that has square roots in it using that FOIL method.